Hello, I'm T Junkie, and welcome to my third tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to create stairs. Right, in my last tutorial, I taught you how to create a room with entities like weapons and ammo, desks, your info player stat, your suit, and door, including door frame along with the rooms and corridors and lights. Right, in this tutorial what you're going to need to do is load up the, t the old tutorial map, delete one of the walls that you wish the stairs to come up from. Right, and we're going to create stairs. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to do two different types of stairs. The first type of stair that I'm going to show you is the basic one. All stairs are 8 high. So what you want to do is you want to draw your stairs a step 8 high and 12 long. And press enter and you've got your stair in. I recommend texturing the stair before continuing. Go into your textures and search for stair or step. Find the stair that you like the most. I'm going to choose this nice wooden one. And then you start texturing the step, aligning the textures. Once you've got your texture aligned, you want to use this step to create the rest. And make sure that you put them up on diagonals so they look like this. And put them in until they're 128 high. So the same height as your wall. You can select multiple steps at one time and use them to make it faster right when your steps are 128 high make sure you have a floor in make sure you put your walls in Once you've got your walls and floor in and you've textured them, you've got some new basic steps in. And there are other types of step and I'm going to teach you a second type now. The second type of step is you might see them in the Valve games and they have gap between each step. Right, to accomplish this you create a step just like you did these steps 12 long but the height is going to be 4 and make sure it's f 4 off the floor as well and at the 12 long the end then hit enter. Right, to make the steps look nice you want a 4 gap at the each end the left and the right of the step. So it's not taking up the whole floor. It's 8 off the floor. Right, you want to texture this step any tissue you want 
I'm going to use a metal one because they seem to go better. Right, you might want to center all the textures. I use the X and Y to shift the texture up or down. And use the top to say it should be at the top. Right. I only want to do these 64. So I just want to move it so it's one block higher than the original step, still the same length away. You want to keep doing that. Remember, you can select loads of steps and then continue on. Continue on. Right, that's how high I want mine. So make sure you create a floor at the end. make sure it's the same level and then pull it down and extend the floor underneath the steps this is to make sure that there are no holes in your level make sure your textures are extended fully and then you want to extend your walls Now you've got that in, you should have gaps to the left and the right of the stairs. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a four, a four wide side trim for each of the stairs. So make sure they're all the same height. It's the same height as all these stairs down to the floor. And then hit the enter key. I want to use the clipping tool to cut diagonally so it goes across the stairs and it intercepts each point of the top of the stairs and enter and do the same for underneath Enter and cut it out, and then you want to texture this before moving it. So find a nice metal texture that's white. I use this one, it's metal wall. As you notice, I haven't textured underneath the stairs or the back of the stairs or the back of these little points because you're not going to see them when you run upstairs or running down them right you want, when you've created the first one you hold shift click and drag to the other side and then let go what you need to do is you need to texture the other side and no draw the other side of the brush you've just made. And once you've done that, you've made yourself some other stairs. As you notice, they're 64 high. Quickly, if you want to improve your stairs, you can add the side bits to these stairs as well. It's entirely up to you. Or you can add props. Right, you click on the entity tool type in prop underscore static and then click anywhere on your level and double click it find world model in the properties and click browse type in rail as the filter and find the one that has handrail short r single rise it'd be handrail 04 single rise as you can see it in the model viewer there click ok apply Okay. Now position that equally on each, and then you can position this uh, 
however where you want it. And do it for both sides. To make sure they line up, use one of your side or front window as a reference. And you can see there they're not they're overlapping, they're not one's not out of sync like that. Once you've done that, you've got your rails in. Simple rails. You could do it a double rise, we'll do the 128. Single rise does 64. Hope creating stairs has helped. Thank you, subscribe to my channel and I'll be uploading more video tutorials soon. Thank you.